Okay, welcome to part 16 of building a custom community in PHP and MySQL dynamic website where people can create profiles and such and I have a juicy little tidbit that I wanted to knock out real quick so I thought I would share with you guys because you guys might want to format things the same way and you see where people have joined the site if their names are too large or too long then it messes up the format there everything's all lopsided and jumbled up and that's not cool so what we're gonna do is go into the index file that renders that data go into the code view and right here where we have first name and last name well first of all I'm just gonna make it use the first name so right here we can just remove the last name or you can choose to put the whole thing inside of a div like this let's try this first I'll show you two methods so within the name let's put that in a div and let's make sure we close the div off the closing div tag before the link closes right there and now let's give this a width Low hidden height, make this width, and I think it's 80 pix is perfect. Overflow hidden. So let's save that. Let's FTP it up to the web index.php. And I use FileZilla if you guys haven't noticed yet, and that is a great program for FTP functions. Alright, now. Let's go look and see what happens. Refresh the page. That helped a little bit. But you see there's still line breaks there. And we do not want that. So what I'm going to do is only show the first name. Save it. FTP it. and I'll probably still have to add one more thing you can also shrink the text okay so that's a little better let's center it div align equals center now let's FTP it this is just a good lesson in display of dynamic data that comes out of your MySQL database in loops. Okay, I didn't get any align, div align center. Oh, put it on the wrong one. It needs to be here. Right there. Div align center now let's FTP that now let's check refresh see now everybody's name is centered and everybody's back into wonderful display and you can also cut the string I was going to show you that let me show you that okay so Let's say we didn't want to put that div in there. And but I'm I'm going to keep it in there cuz I like that. But what you can do is cut down the first and last names if they happen to be extremely long. So you can take uh just make the same variable here. Last name. Mm -hmm. Oh no, let's do first name and I'll just show you that example. First name equals, and we're going to use a PHP function that you can read all about at php.net. And the substring, subtract string, I think that's what it means. I'm not even sure. Let's close off the 
parentheses with the semicolon then inside the parentheses we'll put quote or double quote double quote then a comma I'm gonna cut it zero to maybe eight ten characters there and now we just have to put the variable right there that we want to cut which is first name Let's see if that does it right lock bring the comma in okay so that should cut it down to ten characters and no more and let's see if that works index and php put that up now refresh and it sure did the magic dwarfs name just got shorter let me show you a more dramatic so you can see it the effect more dramatically here I'm gonna cut it down to three save FTP index and now let's refresh the page and you'll see everybody's name is cut to three characters see that so that's how you can really force an iron fist and an iron hand on your uh, display on your site but keep in mind you're gonna be cutting people's names there so I would suggest maybe making the text smaller and leaving it in the div there so you can still kinda of get the layout you want so I'm gonna leave it at 10 because not many people's first names are longer than 10 characters Penelope, P E N E P O L E. Yeah, see, 10 is good. Okay, so that looks beautiful. So if you paid attention throughout uh, the few things I just did here, you'll have a good handle on how to manipulate the data that is rendered in the loop out of your database, out of your MySQL database, rendered into the HTML of the page. And I just wanted to show you guys that because I went to the Web Intersect homepage and I looked at it and everything was all out of whack right there. So I was like, ah, ah that's no good. I got to show these guys how to set that up right. So we'll see you in part 17. Thank you and goodbye.